Massive bleaching, the death toll reaching, levels not seen before. And the luxuriant carpet of life now seems a barren floor. But the reef rebounds and regains ground of pollet bound reef rock. And the naysayers and doomsdayers look on in languid shock. Because mistakenly we're thinking the corals, they are all dead. But the problem is we ask you me and the facts have been misread. As if they only have two options, black or white, live or less die. But these corals are resilient and may pack a big surprise. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Levi. And, and we're, we're in the, the Coral Reef Ecology Lab, Lab at Scripps Institution, Institution of Oceanography. <laughs> This is a coral reef. We work on tropical Pacific islands to solve the mystery of how these communities work. I study coral recovery mechanisms. I'm interested in how corals come back after destruction to a reef. Who are the most important players? Is it tiny larval corals that float in from neighboring reefs? Or surviving adult tissue that is able to regrow? To investigate this, we travel to the exact same spot of the reef every year and take photographs. We then analyze each photo to calculate the loss and or gain in coral cover. Here is an example of one time series. Watch as the coral disappears and reappears over time. It is growing back from cryptic tissues hiding in crevices on the reef. My next step is to examine the reproductive history of the corals by using population genetics. Through this method, we hope to learn more about how corals are coping with their changing environment. I work in Maui, Hawaii, where human activities have likely impacted nearshore reef environments. I'm conducting a long-term comparative experiment across 60 kilometers of Maui's coastline to evaluate how community development and net reef growth vary as a function of numerous environmental characteristics. I am monitoring a large suite of biological and physical parameters including pH, temperature, salinity, nutrients, sedimentation, microbial densities, herbivore biomass, light availability, and comparing how variation in these parameters corresponds with differences in community development, for example the cover of macroalgae, crustos, corallines, and coral growth, and net reef growth, or calcium carbonate accretion, on an array of tiles placed at each site. Results of this work will help us understand how the environmental context influences reef development, and perhaps help managers identify some of the most beneficial actions that can be taken to protect and restore Maui's coral reefs. In addition to studying coral reef communities, Levi and I communicate science using film and poetry as part of a growing movement to add dimension to public opinion of scientists. We hope you enjoyed our science and our scientific art. 